Tonga volcano earthquakes continue. Eruption was estimated at 10 megatons, 128,000 foot ash cloud up to 38 kilometers in height is well into the stratosphere. The shockwave initially started from the volcano. It's located here we are, the shockwave between Fiji and the North Island, New Zealand. And it rang initially around the Pacific. The boom, the sonic boom was heard in the Southern Pacific region, all the way up to the United States. And the shock was felt all over the world. This is it right here. An underwater submarine volcano. No one expected this, but of course it uh, erupted. The Honga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano in Tonga. The activity update preliminary measurements estimate 39 kilometer eruption cloud. The major eruption is red status 5 out of 5. That's today's January 19 news on this. Based on preliminary satellite data from global weather radars, an estimated height of the eruption column likely reached an altitude of 39 kilometers, that's 128,000 feet. This detail has yet to be confirmed, but if it's correct, that's the highest eruption plume in modern times ever. The highest plume in modern times ever. Erosion at the volcano continues at a quick pace. Another significant morphological change can be seen in the latest satellite image of the island from January 17 and 18, compared to the previous imagery from January 15. Now up to uh, January 15, we had a 400,000 ton carbon dioxide ash emission. They said that uh, it would lower the temperature of the Southern Hemisphere half a degree Celsius. Of course, a lot more ash has been added since then. It's still erupting. Erosion at the volcano continues at a quick pace. The volcano has been eroded at two very small remnants of origin islands, Hunga Haapai and Hunga Tonga. The 2015 cone is completely destroyed. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Now, it's not just the ash cloud. We also have, of course, pollution of the ocean around that area. We have large amounts of floating pumice, light brown in color, visible in this image from the initial explosion. A few hours after the explosion, Tonga's internet and phone lines were disrupted as the main undersea cable linking Toga and Fiji with the rest of the world seems to have been cut, which makes 105,000 105, Tonga residents almost unreachable. We also have the aerosol plume that uh, from the latest volcanic eruption continues to travel along the vast stretches in the southern hemisphere. The latest satellite-based measure, uh, measurements of uh, SO2, that's uh, sulfur dioxide concentrations in the uh, atmosphere, show the impressive SO2 eruption plume that has been reaching Australia, because that's how the air currents are taking it. Now, first after the eruption, satellite images of se uh, several ash-impacted Togan population towns and villages were published by UNOSAT and Mar Ag Maxar satellites. So far, 41 buildings fell victim to the tsunami and 63 were found covered by ash in Nomuka village caused by the latest violent eruption. Ash and tsunami affected population areas detected by the satellite were also recorded in the capital of Tonga, Nuku Alofa, Fafa village and Pangai town. Today's news concerning uh, the explosion. Scientists estimate eruption at 10 megatons. Scientists from NASA were measuring the power of this dangerous explosive uh, volcano, underwater water volcano eruption that took place January 15. They said, we come up with a number that's around 10 megatons of TNT equivalent, explained James Garvin, the scientist at NASA's Goodar Space Flight Center. He says, the eruption was heard as far away as Alaska. Can you imagine? 
That's, that's of course, the United States. If it was heard in Alaska, uh, obviously it was heard in California, Japan, and all throughout the Pacific, but all the way up to the North Pole of Alaska. And was likely, he said, one of the loudest event ever over the century. This might be the loudest eruption since Krakatau in 1883, said Michael Poland. Michael Poland, as we know, is in charge of Yellowstone uh, of Volcano Observatory. He's in charge of the Yellowstone Supervolcano. He's a geophysicist for USGS. He says this, it, this might be the loudest eruption since Krakatoa of 1883. The force of the eruption was more than 9,000 times as strong as the 2020 Beirut explosion. Now, based on the preliminary satellite data, the global weather radars, an estimated height of the eruption cloud likely reached up to uh, 39 kilometers altitude into the stratosphere, 128,000 feet up. This detail yet to be confirmed. Let's go take a look at the uh, earthquakes in that area, which are still ongoing. Of course, they don't know when this eruption will stop. It's still ongoing. They could, could be weeks, it could be months. It could be the big one, quote unquote, that takes place just about every thousand years from this volcano. The last one took place around 1100 AD. Before that, it was about 200 AD. And uh, they do believe that there could be smaller eruptions, but also bigger eruptions in the near future or weeks or months ahead. Let's go take a look at the earthquakes, which have been happening there. They're still happening. Even today, we had a 4.8 and a 4.9 a couple of three hours later. Seismo Berkeley, but they take off the earthquakes uh, uh, every week. But this is uh, the, the January 15, 5.8. The earthquake uh, that was measured at the, uh, the, the eruption of the volcano was 7.4. Uh, these here are today's quakes. This one, 4.8, 10 kilometer depth at the capital of Tonga, Nuku'alofa. And uh, this one was about, I think, four hours later, yeah, 4.9, okay? But we also have, uh, this is the area, Fiji, Tonga, and uh, we also have along this area, North Island, New Zealand, which has a Tapo supervolcano. And this is also 4.6, just about the same time as the 4.8 here. And then we have other ones here, because as we know, this whole area has been shaken. This is today's earthquake 5.3 in Indonesia. All the blues are today's earthquakes, 4.7. And all this, of course, uh, shook, as we saw, the shock wave traveled throughout the Pacific plate. And the, the uh, sound was, the blast was heard all the way here. Of course, this is uh, the longest distance obviously was heard around the United States, even South America, and all along the Indonesia, Malaysia, Asia area. Okay, look at this, this one here as well, 5.2 yesterday. So the, a lot of earthquake activity, and uh, they don't believe that it will stop anytime soon. Okay, major er eruption, 5.5, still ongoing, according to Volcano Discovery. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.